Okay, folks, welcome to the webinar. It's December 31st. Uh, very happy new year in advance. And uh, I wanted to do this webinar because this multi time frame trend indicator has been launched uh, this month and there is a launch special. So I know many people wanted to know a little bit more. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to do this in the morning. Uh, the markets are not live yet. And so we'll be looking at uh, the live markets as well. But uh, here I wanted to uh, just give a brief uh, background about the indicator itself. So this is a multi time frame trend indicator. It's very, very powerful because in one visual representation, you can get an indication of uh, trends across many, many time frames. And so I'll be showing you that also uh, on the platform. It also works for all asset classes. It works for stocks. So, if you're a, so even if you're a stock trader, an options trader, a futures trader or any other asset class, it works very well. So let's just jump into this, uh, into this uh, indicator and I'll tell you all the details. And of course, I'll be showing you all of this on the platform itself. So it's a very powerful, versatile and flexible indicator. It captures trends on all time frames. On any given one chart, it can capture trend up to five levels of time frames. And so this is uh, very powerful because one of the things is whenever you look at a chart, you're looking at one, uh, you know, you're looking at one dimension. You're looking at one level of time frame. So whether it's a five minute chart or a daily chart, you're looking at one particular time frame. And so while it may seem that a stock is bullish or bearish in that particular time frame, what's really helpful is, you know, can we go back and look at higher time frames and whether it's bullish or bearish? Because that gives us a, a good sense of the uh, a, a much more deeper level of trend. And so that's what this indicator does. Uh, it works for intraday trading and I'll, show, I'll be showing you that how it can work for day trading as well as it can work for long term trading, investing many months or even a swing trade kind of a situation with, uh, uh, you know, about, uh, you know, four to eight weeks uh, of trade. It can even work for much longer. So you can even go up to a year or two and it will work for all of that. And it works for all time frames in between as well. So whatever your time frame is, it will work. And, and, and uh, as I said, it works for stocks, options, uh, ETFs, futures. And so let me jump into the platform because now it's the pre-market. And what we are going to see is uh, the ES futures and the ES futures, of course, trades uh, almost 24 hours a day. And so here we are on the ES futures. And as you can see, what I have here is two panes over here. Let me just open this up uh, first. So on the left hand side, I have a one day, one minute chart. And so as you can see, as soon as it started turning bearish over here, you have these five rows of trends. OK, so uh, the way this works is the chart itself is a one minute chart. And so the lowest level of uh, the green and red dots that you see, that is the same time frame as the chart itself. And now you can set up all the other time frames on, on all the rows above it. So the second row from the bottom is going to be a five minute chart and you can uh, I mean it's going to be a five minute trend rather. So you can see the five minutes here. The third row is a 15 minute trend. The fourth row is a 30 minute trend and the fifth row is a one hour trend. Similarly on the right side what I have is a five day 15 minute chart. And so which means the bottom row is going to be 15 minutes. The next one is going to be 30 minutes. The third row is going to be an hour and the fourth row is going to be two hours and the fifth row is going to be four hours. So, you know, this chart uh, on the right hand side, you could use it for an intraday purpose as well. And you could also use it for a one to two day kind of a trade. Whereas on the one day, one minute chart, you're typically looking at an, a, a very intraday kind of a scenario. And so if you look at the one day, one minute chart somewhere here, it when all five uh, all five trends are aligned, you're going to get a master level indicator. And so that tells you right away that all all these time frames are aligned. And so this gives you the confidence to take a trade. If you wanted to buy a put option or if you wanted to sell the futures in this case, you would, you know, you, you can take the trade right here and you can see that you would have come down all the way. And my suggestion is, especially if there is one green dot in the middle of reds, especially on the lowest time frame, then you can ignore it. And, you know, and then when you see two dots of actually when you see two rows changing, that's really when you want to exit. Even two dots is OK because it's a one minute chart. And so you're going to see some choppiness here. 
So in this case, even if you were to get out of the trade when you saw these two dots, you can see that you would have gotten out over here at a level of 3218 and whereas you got in at, at a level of 3222. So that's about four points on the, on the, on the ES futures. Of course, you have to bear in mind we're looking at a one minute chart and so uh, you know your trade is also going to be not in hours, it's going to be in minutes. And so you know here we have I, I would say about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, in 15 minutes, you'll be out of the trade with four points uh, on the on the on the ES futures, which means if you were to buy an SPX put option, a four point uh, you know a four point move can can, can produce a, a you know even on five contracts or ten contracts, it can produce a profit of uh, close to a thousand dollars right there. Uh, if you bought like a 35 delta option, and if you were to stick in, you could possibly get uh, you know a better price, but. My suggestion is just follow these indicators and once you see that the indicator is broken, uh, then you might want to get out. However, if you look at the 15 minute chart, we have four red dots over here. So which means for the past one hour, it's been trending lower. And so it's always helpful even if you're trading intraday and you're trading the one minute chart, it's always helpful to put the 15 minute chart also uh, into, uh, you know, you know, onto your chart frame so that you can see that on the 15 minute chart, we are still bearish, we are still bearish and you can see it's continuing to go down. And so, you know, you, it, this tells you also, it gives confirmation of, uh, you know, the one minute chart because you're going to see some choppiness uh, on, the, on the one minute chart. And in general, you will see that the lowest level, the lowest row will be the one that flip flops more than the others. And that should make sense because the low, you know, that is the lowest time frame. And so as you move higher into time frames, then you're, you're going to see less choppiness. And so you can see over here, which would be the two hour chart, we have been bearish for a long time. And on the four hour chart, we've been bearish, you know, for even much more longer. And so, you know, all of these are very insightful in terms of getting a great trade entry and also a trade exit as well. Because, uh, you know, over here, if you see, uh, you, know, we, uh, you know, we had about, uh, I would say close to one and a half hours of nice bearish action and then you saw this green dot and you can exit there and so this green dot would correspond to uh, it's corresponding to this one over here but you know when you see a couple of green dots okay exit you know you may not exit at the lowest point or you may not get in at the best point also but the but the point is this is clearly a visual way of trading and then when something is aligned like this just got aligned on the bearish side it will give you an audio alert as well. So this kind of a, uh, a two pane chart will work well for an intraday kind of a setup. Now let me show you how uh, a setup for a swing trading setup would be uh, would look like and once again I have two panes over here and as you can see on the left hand side I have a five day 15 minute chart and then on the right hand side I have a much more longer term chart a three month daily chart. So if you can see over here on the five month 15 uh, on the five day 15 minute chart, we've been bearish, you know, we saw that we've been bearish over here for the last hour or so. And so uh, even if you take a trade over here, uh, you know, this would have worked out well. However, if you look at the three month daily chart, you're looking at a completely different picture because we've, we've had a nice bullish run in December. And so all these dots have been green. And so you can you, you, so you can imagine if you had gotten into the trade right here when the green dot started, which is at about three one three three, you could have gone all the way until three two three five. So that's a that's a hundred points on the on the S and P. And so you can imagine what kind of a trade that would be. Similarly, if you go back a month or two, you can see that the trend lasted uh, a whole lot longer. It lasted for almost twenty days, I would say. And that would have been a trend from somewhere here. Uh, you would have been in this trade all the way till here. And then once you see these, you know, this kind of a price action, uh, you can, you, you know, you can jump out of the trade. So this would have been a fantastic trade. This would have been close to 200 points on the S&P itself. So that's really what this indicator does. Now, the way this indicator is set up is, uh, you know, you can, you, you can come here to the studies and you, once you say edit studies here, uh, this is the multi time trend. So if you can click on this and you can set up your time frames right here. So now this is uh, on the right hand side, the base case is a one day chart. And so what I've set up here is the next highest level, the higher level of time frame. I've set it up as two days and then the higher one to that is four days. 
and then the uh, one after that is one week and then it's one month. So you can see that over here, it's giving you all the way from a one day trend to a one month trend. And so the, you know, the, the topmost row is the one month trend. And then when everything is aligned, you're going to see the master level indicator also light up. And that's really uh, what gives you the confidence for the trade. So now the markets are yet to open. There's about uh, three, four minutes left. So once we open, you can see how uh, the, uh, we can put in some stocks as well. Now, what I wanted to say is uh, this is a launch special for this indicator. And I also want to show you two columns here. These are also my own proprietary algos. You know, one column is called swing trades and you've probably seen it on some videos. And then this is uh, day trades. So these two columns are available right here. So as a launch special, uh, you know, so, so you, you know, the thing is you have a, all, you know, we have hundreds or thousands of stocks. And so how would you filter? So you create your own watch list and then you can put either if, if you want to be doing swing trading, then you can use this column on swing trade. So this is a separate algorithm. The day trades is a separate algorithm, but my special this month uh, is that I'm going to throw in one of these for free. So either if you want the swing trade algorithm or the day trade algorithm, I'm going to throw in one of these for free uh, if you buy the multi time frame trend indicator. So we have, a, we have about three minutes to go. You can see on the day trades, uh, Chipotle is showing bullish, but Chipotle doesn't have much action in the, uh, the pre-market. Now you can see Boeing uh, uh, is showing bearish. And in fact, most of the stocks are showing bearish. That's because uh, the, uh, the ES is uh, about seven points down. So the pre in the pre-market, we are down about seven points. But um, on, on the swing trades, we can also sort it by here. On the swing trades, as you can see, we have a few stocks that are very bullish. So if you put booking over here, uh, you can see booking is very bullish. It's very bullish. And so this automatically gives you the ability to filter within your within your watch list. You can filter uh, you know, so that you don't have to cycle through hundreds of stocks. And that's why this is a helpful uh, freebie that's going to come in uh, with this uh, multi time frame uh, trend indicator. So if you have any questions, meanwhile, please feel free to post it on the chat box and uh, you know I'll get to the questions but uh, we'll wait for the markets to open and then see how some of these uh, stocks are doing but as you can see it, uh, you know booking is very very bullish if you were looking for a swing trade you would have, you would have been in this trade for I would say about two weeks or just a little bit more than that uh, and uh, you would be in a very very nice trade you would have gone up from somewhere here like I said if you just see one dot uh, you can still be in the trade. But if you see two dots, then I think it's time to exit. So both in terms of an entry as well as in terms of an exit, you have a fantastic indicator here that just, you know, just visually it gives you uh, the trends across various time frames. And so it's, a, it's, it's almost a no brainer to take the trade and exit the trade. Now, granted here uh, on um, Monday, booking took a big beating, but since it's had such a run, you know, the signal has not changed. But if you were, if you were, you know, if you lost 30 points on this, uh, on this bar over here and you wanted to exit the trade, by all means do so. Uh, because uh, you don't want to give up the profit or you can you know take profit on half the size you can do all kinds of things uh, uh, with this uh, you know with this kind of a tool here so this is a really great tool for trade entry as well as trade exits and uh, so uh, you know you can use this in your trading so this is uh, uh, this is a tool that works on think or swim and so if you buy the indicator I'll be I'll be sending you the algorithm uh, the code as well as the instructions to install it. It, it it's really very very simple it installs pretty automatically onto your system uh, and then once you have it over here uh, you can set up your charts based on your own time frames and uh, you know go from there so uh, we'll just wait for the markets to open a few more seconds as you can see from a swing trading standpoint we have about three or four that are very bullish and we have a couple that are uh, you know, bearish. So if you look at Win Resorts, for example, yeah, sure, this chart looks uh, pretty, uh, you know, pretty bullish. But as you can see, one dot has come in over here uh, just in the last, uh, you know, in, in the last day, actually. And so this is kind of a topping out pattern. So this is when you might want to think of exiting the trade, if at all you were in this. So I'm going to jump back to the day trading environment because since this is a webinar and uh, you know we want to look at how things are moving fairly quickly so uh, you know I'm, I'm going to come back to the ES 
and uh, we'll, we'll just see how all of this works as you can see the markets just opened and uh, you know on this particular minute here we have a red uh, red over here and this has been uh, on the 15 minute uh, chart this has been red for uh, an hour and 15 minutes already so let's just uh, pause here let's just uh, take a look at what the price action is and how to interpret this indicator so clearly we are in a bearish mode at least at the beginning and so you're going to see some red dots uh, you know coming in over here uh, but of course on a day trading basis things can change and so if you're in a trade based on the one minute chart you have to be uh, uh, you have to be nimble enough to get out also based on the one minute chart if you're trading on the 15 minute chart you have a slightly little bit more leeway you have a little bit more time to deal with things so now another dot has come in, one minute has passed and we are still in red. Uh, obviously this indicator is not going to change because this is a 15 minute indicator and so uh, on the right hand side so we won't expect that to change uh, anytime soon. But uh, you know markets are bearish and this tells you you can stay in the trade, you can stay in the trade uh, until things change on the one minute chart. So this is as far as the uh, ES itself is concerned. Now I'm going to sort so uh, the stocks also on a uh, uh, you know on a um, on the day trading basis and so if you can see gold is the only one that is bullish on the uh, on the one minute chart or on the intraday chart and as you can see the you know the past couple of minutes uh, you know we have greens on gold and even for the past 15 minutes we have greens on gold pretty much all the others are uh, you know bearish so if you see netflix right here uh, yes, this is bearish. Netflix has been bearish from uh, yesterday itself and you can see that it's still continuing. So here you are if you were to take a put option on Netflix, uh, you know, it's a strong bearish trend because as you can see on the 15 minute chart, we have 10 to 12 red dots on the on the 15 minute chart over here. Similarly, let's just go to something else. Let's see Qualcomm. Uh, so Qualcomm also has been bearish and you can see even on the one minute chart and then on the 15 minute chart, it's been bearish right here. And then last we have is Bank of America. Bank of America is also bearish. Uh, it's, uh, it seems to be having some kind of stability, but it's a one minute chart. And so, uh, you know, you, it, it, can be, it can be a little choppy there. So let's come back to the ES because that really has all the, sorry, that's not the ES. Let me do the ES. And now you can see ES has suddenly changed. And so now you see two, two green dots have come. And so once you see two green dots, you, you want to exit. In fact, over here, you got the green dots coming in from here itself, as you can see. So right on this bar itself, you would have exited once you, uh, you know, if you were in the trade in the future. So these are the futures. So they trade quite a bit. And so, I mean, uh, in the pre-market. And so you, if you were in a bearish trade all through this, you would have gotten out. Uh, definitely on this because it's telling you both on the five minute as well as the 15 minute uh, things are uh, changing over here so you know that's uh, that's what this uh, that's what this is telling us and uh, so now there's some kind of recovery as you can see it is uh, you know it's only down about three points it was down a lot more on the ES and so this is how you would uh, you, you know you would do it on the on the ES uh, the you know, it's up to each person how you want, what kind of a trading environment you want, uh, because, uh, you know, uh, some people are day traders, some people are swing traders. Uh, in general, if you're going to be doing day trading, obviously you have to be at your computer and uh, you have to watch it closely. But it really works well in a sort of a, uh, you know, sort of a swing trade in the sense, you know, even for a few days, a trade lasting a few days, maybe a week or so, it really does well. Because as you can see from the swing trading time frame, and I'm, let me show you a couple of stocks. Now, this is the ES on the swing trading. So if you see on the swing trading, what we have is uh, we have a few stocks that are bullish. We already uh, looked at uh, uh, booking. Uh, let's look at uh, Caterpillar. Yeah, certainly looks uh, bullish, although the last couple of days it's been coming off. And so you would have gotten out of the trade. If you were in this trade from here, let's say you would be out of the trade over here. Uh, what do we have next? Chipotle Mexican Grill. Chipotle Mexican Grill also on the three month daily as you can see uh, we've been in a bullish trend and once you saw these two you might want to get out of the trade but then we are back to green now so uh, you know it is uh, it is in a bullish mode over there. Uh, gold of course we saw it is in a bullish mode and let's look at AMD. 
AMD looking good. Uh, and of course, last couple of days, it's been coming down. And so you would have gotten out of the trade over here on the uh, on a swing trading time frame there. And then, of course, you have some bearish candidates. Let's look at FedEx. Uh, FedEx definitely looks bearish. And uh, even on the on the daily chart. So now this is really where uh, it, it it starts to become a, a very good, uh, you know, a trade entry point. So now, you know, today uh, FedEx is obviously it's bearish. But when you saw the first red dot uh, yesterday and you see this today, uh, you know, it might be a good time to get into the trade because, you know, once you have two, you know, one or two dots, that's a good time to enter the trade. Once you already have eight or 10 dots, like a booking, I believe was uh, something like that. Yeah, once you already have a major trend that has already happened, then that's not the time to take a trade. Basically, you want to take the trade when just one or two dots have come in. That way you have, you know, the trend is likely to last uh, much, much longer. And uh, so that would keep you, that would give you a best entry. And it would, uh, and then of course, based on the signals, you would exit as well. So, uh, you know, in general, I've noticed that once a trend starts, it can last from anywhere from four dots to about 10 dots. And uh, so you have that kind of a window for that trade. So you could be trading on the daily chart. You could be trading on a weekly chart. It doesn't matter. The dot is a dot and it corresponds to the time frame of the chart that you're using. And uh, so using that kind of a time frame, you can expect about four to 10 dots uh, once a trend has set. In general, of course, you'll have some, uh, you know, some exceptions here. You can see there's one, there's uh, two over here. Uh, but if you didn't get shaken out by this, just this one dot, then, you know, you have uh, three or four dots there. So in general, you can expect the trend to go for about four to ten dots. That is, uh, that's what it has shown us uh, from, uh, uh, from our testing here. So this is, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, this is a demonstration of the multi time frame. It can work on all time frames. So if you have any questions, please, uh, you know, please, uh, you know, put it down here. So let me explain what the deal is. The deal is uh, this uh, is going for 1497. So let me just bring the my browser here and uh, let me show you over here. So this is the PayPal link. If you buy the multi time frame indicator, you will get either the day trading algo or the swing trading algo for free. OK. So, you know, that's the link. You can PayPal it to uh, the Option Tiger account right there. And uh, you will get the day trading or the swing trading for free. So that is this column here. So that way you already have a shortlisted list of candidates uh, to cycle through and you don't have to go through all the stocks and all the all the indices and uh, you know all of that so this is a really good shortcut to uh, to just narrow down your trade candidates uh, whether it's uh, for a day trading or for a swing trading environment so i'll take a pause here and uh, see if there are any questions on the indicator itself or anything else or on the deal and if you are uh, if there's any uh, confusion about what the swing trades day trades algo is those are two separate algos and those take into consideration uh, not just price action but they also take into consideration momentum it takes into consideration volume and money flow and all of that and three different moving averages uh, and so on and so forth so there's a uh, there's a uh, you know there's a lot of uh, number crunching going on on these columns right here and so when they when they shortlist a candidate you can then uh, zoom in and uh, you know uh, you know uh, try to take a trade uh, as i said you want to catch it when there's just one or two dots that have come in because that trend is likely to last for um, you know for 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 some more time for at least about uh, you know uh, five to ten dots and the dot can be any time frame that you're trading on it can be a uh, you know like i said a, a five minute chart 15 minute chart a daily chart a weekly chart it doesn't matter but the dots generally will persist for anywhere from four to ten uh, four to ten dots so any questions on this uh, please feel free to type it in Meanwhile, I'll cycle through if there's any other candidates over here. And so sometimes you'll see bearish and, uh, you know, bullish. And so which means it's not fully, uh, you know, it, it's not very bearish yet. So if you look at Google charts on a five day, you, you know, you can see how it's, uh, you know, it's, it's bearish on the, uh, on the on the swing trades as well. So three in the swing trades, if you look at the three month daily, uh, it's bearish, but it's not fully, you know, you can see there are four dots. The fifth dot is yet to develop on Google. 
and uh, perhaps when that happens uh, you know that's when Google will move from bearish to very bearish and uh, that's when you can uh, you know take the trade there but in general your lowest time frame is going to change much much quicker then the next time frame will change uh, after that and then the time frame after that so the highest time frame obviously will take the longest time to change and that should be pretty intuitive because uh, in this case that is a one month trend that's a monthly trend and so that obviously will uh, take much more longer to uh, you know to change so that's really it this deal was supposed to expire on December 31st, but uh, since I'm having this webinar today, I'll keep it open till Jan 1st in the new year. Uh, so, and uh, with this deal, you're getting it for, uh, first of all, you're getting the indicator itself for 40% uh, off because the list price on this is 24.97 and you can find more information on the Option Tiger website and I'll just show that over here. Um, if you come to the Option Tiger website, you can uh, you can come under either under products and uh, go go into the multi uh, multi time frame trend indicator and you'll see this here and uh, the, the list price is 24.97 but you're, uh, since this is the launch uh, uh, this is going for 14.97 plus you get the swing trading algo so the the swing trading algo itself is worth 9.97 so this is the swing trading algo uh, you know you can buy it you can uh, you know there's a swing trading service also you can go in for a monthly using this but uh, you know this algo goes for uh, 997 you also have uh, the day trading algo uh, which also is uh, you know and that's the day trading algo here and so you can get either one of those uh, you know that's a value of 997 right here uh, you can buy it for 997 but you can get it for free if you uh, get the multi time frame trend indicator right now so you know that's uh, valid until jan 1st so looks like uh, there are no questions I, I i don't see any questions here if there are you feel free to email email me at info at option and uh, i can answer this but this deal is valid till jan 1st uh, it's for 14.97 you get this indicator uh, you, it's a one-time fee and uh, that's it and you own it for life uh, you know, just a, you know, one trade can make up the cost of this indicator and uh, there's a lot of testing that has gone into this uh, and uh, that's why it's a fairly expensive indicator. There's been uh, quite a bit of development on this. So in any case, that's, uh, that's, my, uh, uh, that's my webinar today. Looks like there are no questions. So I'll let you go. It's uh, New Year's Eve. A very, very happy New Year to everybody and uh, we'll speak to you all in the New Year. Thank you very much.